what is up guys welcome back welcome back to another video today's video is an exciting one to me but also at the same time it's kind of like oh my god it's it's kind of it's, it's reversed if that makes sense today we are removing the rear wide body kit we're gonna take a break from the front end for a little I want to get the rears removed. We have the rears right up there. If you guys have not seen my previous video, pretty much what I did was on Tony's split G35, the half black, half white one. In my, one of my previous videos, basically what I did was to make molds, what I'll do is I'll lay a bunch of tape down and then I fiberglass over that and then I peel it off, leaving me with this right here so they still do need work as you can see it's a little flimsy but i don't know where it's gonna get cut at yet but here we have them so like i said they're gonna need more fiberglass and they are gonna need a lot of body work but where did i just step on today it's kind of bittersweet guys it really is i like the white body but you know it's on to a different look and i think stock body with the G37 front end is gonna be fire. Let's talking. Let's get the car aired up and get the wheel pulled off so we can begin getting that chopped up. Once we get this side off, we'll go ahead and scoot the car over and then we'll go ahead and do the same thing on the other side.
Are you guys ready for this? Check this out, guys. Oh my god. Look at how good this looks. So just imagine it all bodywork and painted. Everything, the front, rear. I was just out here right now before I picked up the camera just staring at it and taking pictures and it looks incredible. To me, this is this is really nice now. With the G37 front, back to OEM rears, no wide body, just super, super clean. Very elegant looking. Oh my God. It's really, really coming together, guys. I'm so happy. Let's take a closer look. So like I said, we still do need to do trimming, a lot of trimming. And uh, we need to figure out that piece right there where it connects, make sure everything's in the right spot. But we still have to pull the tail lights off, rear bumper off to get everything done. And then fitment wise, uh, we're gonna need a spacer. What size? I have no idea yet. But it's looking like maybe an inch, possibly even 20 mil, uh, the 20 millimeter spacer, I think. But yeah, guys, it's looking incredible. It's a few days later and I actually have some explaining to do. So as you guys saw, we ripped off the old wide body kit and we started to get mounted up the um, mold I made of Tony's rear stock G35 fenders, right? Uh, it was working out pretty good, but the fitment on both sides was actually very off. Not only that, but I did want the wheel to stick out a little bit further because I wanted to actually make the, uh, I wanted to look stock, but I was gonna widen it. Long story short, it did not work out. I tried my hardest to get it to work out. I'm gonna put up a few clips um actually because there's a lot of stuff i did but i'm not going to include everything in this video because it's not worth it but i am going to put in a few clips right after this showing you pretty much what was going on and whatnot so long story short that night i ripped it off threw it in the trash realized those are not going to work so i actually uh, decided to make a template um and just start scratch building from cardboard and tape um the new flares that we now have and if you guys are following me on my instagram if you're not, I suggest you do, but we, I posted pictures up there and I made this wide body look stock, but it's not. It's actually about a half an inch to an inch wider than OEM, but it looks factory. First, let me show you the driver's side because it's not done. The passenger side, we got a little bit more uh, work done, but let me go ahead and show you guys. So here's what we have. As you can see, like I said, it looks pretty stock. This is going to be molded in everything. We need still need so much trimming and everything to do. Trimming here, but the fitment, guys, is like wow. Look at that. Okay, and when I air out, it literally just glides and slides right over the wheel. The fitment is on point. But then I decided, do we want the tuck look or do we want a fender to lip but laid out on the floor look? And I think that's what we want. So coming to the front, oh, we're actually aired up right now. Well, it's gonna sit pretty much right on top of the rim. So I decided that's the look we're gonna go for. We still have to play with fitment up front and throw on a spacer, but coming to the rear, this side at least, here's how we are looking. So I got it all sanded down. I got all of this in here trimmed. We still need to do a lot more on that and mold everything and whatnot, but we got everything sanded down we got the body line relatively close and we trimmed a lot and the fitment guys it sits literally right on top of the fender now we still are gonna have to do some trimming and we are gonna have to pull both off and still reinforce on the inner side a little bit more before we officially mold this on but damn does that look good so it looks factory but it's about an inch half an inch close to an inch wider and again the fitment you can see i mean i know we have the wheel covered but you can see it's on point dude so we're gonna get this sanded actually i think we can go ahead and sand it right now we're gonna get that all sanded up and i think today's goal is we're just gonna be focusing on this side because i do need to pick up more material so i think we have enough material to at least get the majority of this side done Okay guys, quick update, a lot of sanding later and we still have so much more to do. 
But what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get connected to airlift. Here we are. And we're gonna check out this fitment right here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and air it out. See where we're at. Oof, we're getting close. We are getting close, but you can see, look at that. Oh, it's butter, it's butter. I mean, that looks good. All right, let me turn the car off. Compressors just keep going and shutting off and going and shutting off. It's gonna kill the car. But yeah, so we're getting really, really close. Um, like I said, I want fender to lip, and I think we just have just a little bit more to go but yeah that's how it's looking guys let's go ahead and get a step back oh, it looks so good and like i said once it's actually molded and in the car ooh. all right guys we made some pretty good progress we still do have some trimming on the bottom to get the fitment uh fender to lip but as you can see i grounded all of the bondo completely down like i said um in the previous video i am tripping on this cord <laughs> there we go like i mentioned in the previous video uh the previous owner i know this panel has been replaced and i know for sure the previous owner uh did not do it right and they had for some reason tons and tons and tons of bondo uh, so we grounded all of that completely out, got everything epoxy in with some uh, 3M panel bonder. So everything's looking really good. So once this is dry, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grind pretty much everything on the outside down. And what we're going to use is, here it is, we're going to use some fiberglass mat, just a sheet. Um, just a little trim, you know, to kind of overlap like that all along. Maybe probably two coats of it, uh, relatively thin. And then from there, we're just going to start body working it and getting everything sanded in, in place. But it's looking so good. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. It really does look stock, but it's not. So to the average eye, to anybody who doesn't really watch my videos or channel or anything, you're gonna think it's bone stock. I, I do not think you're honestly gonna know at all. So I'm pretty happy about that. So the next thing that we're gonna have to do is um, build this, but as you can see, it's gonna come up to here. So it is gonna have a little bit of hangover. And that's actually what I want. I think that's gonna look really cool. That's actually one way you're gonna know it's not stock. And that's what I wanted to go for. I wanted something that looks 100% stock, but it is a wide body technically. So I'm super uh, happy with that. So going from, so check that out, and it's not even done yet. There's still so much work to do. But going from this to the other side, so good. So we really need to start sanding this one down as well, get everything grounded down to metal and sanded and trimmed and so on and so forth there is a lot as you can see it tucks a lot uh reason for it i made it like that um just so we can trim back one thing that does need to be worked is this rear the the body line kind of is a little funky on this side so i need to i need to try to fix that the best that i can but nonetheless guys comment below let me know what you guys think i'm super stoked for it Oh, also right there, that's going to be in the next video. We got a new part in. Can you guess where?